Hi, and welcome to this tutorial. Today, we're going to convert this HTML template to a Drupal template. So, let's get started. First thing you want to do is you want to open up your index.html file and bring it into your text editor of choice, which is in this case brackets. So, now what you want to do is you want to separate the style sheet. So, let's take the style, cut it, and delete the style tags. Now we want to create a new file and save it as style.css in the same location as your index.html file. There we go. And now what we want to do is we want to link our style sheet. So let's type in link href style.css. Oh, um, rel equals style sheet type equals text slash CSS and there we go so now what we want to do is we want to create a new file and name it info.info because Drupal has a special thing where now what we want to do is create a new file and call it testblog.info because Drupal has a special configuration where it looks for a file with the extension .info that basically describes the entire theme and tells what it has. So we'll save that out. And now we are going to type name equals, and now we're going to type the name of our theme, which in this case is my test blog. We're going to type the description equals, which is this is a test blog. And now what we're going to do is we're going to type core, which is basically the version of Drupal that we're running, equals whatever version you're running. I'm running 7. So type in 7.x and then I'm going to type in engine PHP template which is important in order to make it run. So next what we want to do is we want to add regions and basically what regions are are sections that house editable blocks of content. So let's add a region by typing in regions open bracket and close bracket and then in between those brackets when you want to type in the name of your region. So in this case we're going to type in header equals and then we're going to type in the proper name of your region which is header. So there we go. Now we're going to make another one called logo. So regions brackets logo equals logo and now we're going to make another one called style sheets. So regions brackets slideshow equals slideshow Another one, regions brackets body equals body. And last but not least, we're going to do regions footer equals footer. Oh, looking back, I realized that I just made a mistake. This body section should actually say content. So regions content equals content. Alright, the next thing we have to do is add a style sheet. And in order to reference a style sheet, we type in style sheets, brackets, and then in between the brackets, we put the media that we want our style sheet to appear in. In this case, since we only have one style sheet, we're just going to type in all. And then after the brackets, type equals. And then what we want to do is we want to type the path for the style sheet. In this case, it's simply style.css. After that, we're going to add some lines of code that are important in order to make it run successfully. So we're going to type in features, open bracket, close bracket, with nothing in between, equals name, and features, open bracket, close bracket, equals main underscore menu. And there we go. That should be done now. So now, before we bring it into Drupal to see if it works, we want to rename our index.html file. We're going to rename it page.tpl.php, which is something a, a Drupal file absolutely needs to have in order to run. 
So use PHP and there we go. So now let's copy and paste the folder into Drupal. We're going to do sites all themes and then just paste it right in there. And there we go. Now we're going to go to our appearance pane in our Drupal admin menu. Here it is. I already have it opened up. Wait for it to open and scroll to the bottom. And there we go. It works. So let's do enable and set default just to see how it's looking. Set default basically means to set it as the active template. And enable means to turn it on and have it be ready to be set as the active template. Let's wait for it to load that up. And there we go. It's now the default theme. So wait for it to load and it does not load the CSS. I believe that this is because we forgot to put something into the info file. We forgot to put a second set of brackets after the media query. There we go. If you reload the page, you might notice that it still does not work. And that's because we have to do something called flushing the cache, which is basically erasing the computer's memory of the web page. So let's go to configuration. Wait for it to load. Performance. And clear all caches. Wait for it a while. And there we go. Now if we reload the page, the CSS should show up. And it does. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. Now there's one more problem in that the images do not show up. The problem here is the Drupal seems to have some trouble understanding paths to the server. So what we have to do is we have to add an absolute path. And we can do that by putting our images in a place like Dropbox. And then from there, adding the back end to the code. So let's copy our logo and slider image CSS. Bring them into a public folder. Make a new folder called My Test Blog. and paste them in. Now let's copy the public links and put the code back in. There we go. And now if we reload the page, they should show up. And there we go. Perfect. They show up now. So now what we have to do is we have to make the content dynamic. So in order to do that, we have to add some more lines of PHP code. So let's delete our current body content. Now we're going to add some lines of PHP code. We're going to do opening PHP tag if open parenthesis dollar sign title close the tag sorry we want to add a colon after our parentheses we want to do h1 and in between those h1 tags we want to do another PHP tag PHP print dollar sign title close it we want to do a semicolon after the title then we want to do a P tag and in between the P tags we want to do another line of PHP it says PHP print render parentheses dollar sign page brackets and in between those brackets two apostrophes and in between those apostrophes content and close off our parentheses and add a semicolon and then we just close off our PHP tag and then we put in one last line which is PHP and if and then we close it off and that should be the end of it And now it should work, but we don't have any content. Hang on a second. Oh, 
our end diff is in the wrong place. Let's move that above the P tag and let's see if that works. Okay, it works now. So let's add some content. Let's do content, add content. Basic page. And then something like hello. This is my page. And then we scroll down to publishing options and hit promoted to front page. And then we hit save. And there we go. Perfect. It shows up exactly the way it's supposed to. Well, I guess that's the end of this tutorial.